Hey there, Internet Keith here. Welcome to the Cars and Keith YouTube channel. In this video, we're going over the $30 Amazon spray gun and foam cannon bundle. I believe I bought this was Tool Daily. I'll leave a link in the description below for these. But this is testing for the cheap wash cart build. So the gun itself already comes with a quarter inch quick disconnect at the top, and it comes with a female three inches MPT on the bottom. This is rated for about 4,300 feet of PSI, more than enough. So with the spray gun comes a bunch of nozzles and connectors. You get a three inch plug that has your connection uh, to the water hose that normally you would have and a three inch for the bottom. But also if you're connecting with your cheaper water hose or an Uberflex hose, it comes with an M22. So you can convert the three inch that comes out of the bottom of the unit to an M22 thread. This should be a 14 millimeter. Now you get all these nozzles, they're not marked. Since you don't know what they are, you have no idea what kind of output or strain this is going to put on your pressure washer. So onto the foam cannon, you get your straw, your bottle, and this is the manifold. So you take your straw, plug it into the bottom, force it on there. Then we'll take our straw, put it into the top of the bottle right there, and then screw it on very gently. This is a metal top and a plastic bottom. Metal threads like to eat plastic threads. So let's move Helen out of the garage, put her out there in the wash area. Let's get the dilution ratio for this and let's wash. Okay, so this is a 1,000 milliliter bottle. So it's about the same size as the other ones. It's just taller than it is wider at the bottom, but it actually is pretty stable. So let's dump in uh, some soap. Let's do some W4 uh, from G-Technic. We're gonna put, let's do four squirts. It's about 120 milliliters of soap. That's why I love these Jerry pumps. Exactly 30 milliliters of liquid comes out of each full pump. So let's try to fill this up as easily as we can. Now we're at a thousand milliliters. That's about as good as I can do. Like I said, be very careful with the threads. Okay, so here's our gun. I have a quarter inch pressure gauge on there and my 2.5 nozzle. So on this unit that pushes 1050 PSI, which is exactly what it did on my other spray gun. So it has the exact same pressure as other spray guns. So we can take that off. Now we just have our nozzle. Make sure you're using a nozzle that came with your pressure washer if you're not comfortable in knowing what sizes to use. So you see it's on and off easily at the pressure washer. We, there's no leakage within the gun, nothing, no air, no water causing it to pulsate or do anything like that. Down here, we have actually a hose that's for the cheap wash cart build as well. There will be a video on that. Uh, it just connects with a three inch uh, connection right here. We put the three inch plug connection that came in the bag and connect those two right here. So one thing you could add is a swivel and this will uh, screw in on the three inch inch on the bottom of the gun and then have a plug at the bottom. That would connect into this hose right here. That'll give you a little bit better leeway because you see how it's, it'll turn as the quick disconnect moves a little bit, but once you put on the pressure, you won't be able to turn it. Now, if you have the swivel in there, you will be able to turn the hose and it will loop less. But if you have a good hose, you should be okay without a swivel, but a swivel is just so much more convenient. I'll leave a link below. But for the testing, we won't use this. So let's see how it rinses. We have our 2.5 nozzle in here. Uh, we are using a Greenworks 1700 PSI unit that will be in another review down the road uh, for this budget wash cart. Rinch is just like normal. Trigger is a little loose right here, but what are you gonna do for 20 bucks? Can it foam? Let's find out. Well, as you can see, it does foam. It's quite runny though for this dilution ratio that I'm using. We're gonna check the orifice inside of this to see if it's a 1.1 or a 1.25. I first have my multi-tool here. I'll leave a link below for that. This thing is amazing for adorning this kind of stuff. You see, once you undo it, you can turn it this way. I suggest a really big flathead screwdriver. You'll see on the inside there's a little screw. Once fully loosened, you just drop it into your hand. So a little pick tool here that determines and lets me know the size. 
So if it goes all the way in real easy, then I know it's 1.25. Now with the 1.1, you can see the pick doesn't go all the way in. So we're putting our 1.1 in and tightening it. So now we put our quarter inch plug back in. Be very careful, there's an O-ring right here. Then I've got my tool and it's already almost in there all the way. There we go. So now let's try it with a 1.1 and see how much difference there is. That is definitely thicker. Now, it's not gonna perform like an MJJC Pro foam cannon, it's just not. So one test I like to do with foam cannons is the leak test. It's pretty leak free, not bad at all. Now, if you're ever looking to go to a 1.1 orifice nozzle, very cheap, I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, it's a great thing to do. Uh, other things you can do is make sure the, the softness and hardness of your water using filters, uh, things like that using uh, Deionized water in here, warm water in here works as well. Swishing around before you use it, making sure your knob is fully at max. This one actually says to go this way plus, but I went all the way this way and it's just straight water. So this is reversed for some reason. I'm gonna throw this in an MJJC bottle just to show you the difference in the foam. Here's the MJJC with a 1.1. I poured the dilution ratio out of that bottle straight into this. So that's the MJJC, it's 50 to 60 bucks. It's the best foaming cannon out there. Just amazing, uh, I'll link in the description below, but this is all about that budget. Went ahead and mint washed the car. Now let's rinse off the soap. The trigger feels heavy, but it actually isn't. I can actually pull it with one finger. Two fingers. Pretty easily. So there you go. I think this is the duo that we're gonna use for the cheap wash cart build. I don't think I'm gonna invest any more money. I don't think I can get anything better for the price. Everything's kind of the same quality in that price range. Uh, as you can tell, the foam gun works works pretty good. You're not gonna expect the swivel and the spray gun, so I was having to turn um, you know, the hose a couple times to get some of the loops out. It's the cheap wash cart bill. What do you expect? We're not gonna have the best of the best. We're gonna have everything you need for about $300. So check the link in the description below for anything used in the video. Uh, for any of you beginners, this is more than enough. The expensive ones, like I said, they give you that convenience. They give you the longevity. They give you those creature comforts uh, that you can't get in the cheaper ones. The performance, there is no difference. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Throughout the year, Uh, I could figure it out by using my PS get. You get a three inch plug, which has a, oh my gosh. So you'd take your straw, so you'd take your straw, oh my gosh. So you'd take your straw and, oh my gosh. It's very runny compared to this. That's how I'm able to tell. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> Poked myself. We put in our, we put in our quarter inch, we put our quarter inch plug in. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Things I do to redo these takes, huh? I should just go with it, right? But I'm a perfectionist. OCD.